Okay everyone, here we have the same mill setup using same exact thin mill taking a 25,000 step of cut a piece of 6061 aluminum. Obviously we're going to need coolant so we don't melt aluminum into our end mill. So RPM is definitely a bit lower than the steel. Let's, let's see what this little sucker can do. Wow, it's really impressive. I could obviously up the RPM up the feed rate, but I'm going to try a, uh, just for the heck with a 50 cal cut, slightly higher RPM. That cut was um, conventional, and this will be climbed, so you'll hear the motor drop more. That threw it like butter. Well, since it's going so good, it's something I've never done. It's about a hundred thou. This will be intense. The motor's definitely not enjoying this very much. I think I may have overcranked it a little bit. I think the moral of the story here is you can easily take about a 50,000 step of cut using a quarter inch rougher Just up the RPM more and give it one last shot. Went through a screw hole. Yeah, I think for, for, for any kind of uh, full-blown machining, I'll keep it a 50 thousandths cut at a higher feed rate so we aren't over-taxing the machine. But obviously, like any rougher, if you can tell, it'll create a liney surface. But you can very easily come along with a um, finishing tool and clean it up. There's the end mill. So far, being an Enco, China, whatever, end mill, I'm actually extremely impressed with it. It's actually, in my opinion, for what it is on sale for about seven bucks, definitely worth the money. I'll post up a link to it in the uh, comments section. If you're wondering what I'm using for coolant, I'm using a uh, cheap magnetic base from Harbor Freight and it's flowing the Cool 77 out of a custom nozzle I built in machine shop class as part of a final project and it works extremely well. This nozzle is pretty fancy but you could very easily make one with just a piece of half inch aluminum, drill a hole in it and do any fancy stuff that you want to it. Definitely a fun project that you could even pull off on your mill without the need of a uh, lathe. So that's that for now. If I get any more material in the meantime I'll definitely do it. Stainless would be fun but obviously extremely difficult so I think we'll hold off on that and if I do run stainless odds are I'd probably run it with some kind of oil but we'll see. It's, it's a tough mix between the heat sucking ability of water based coolants but the um, awesome lubrication that oil provide so gotta gotta weigh it all.